Welcome and thank you for watching the fourth and final episode of our In The Picture video series. Last week I introduced the many women artists in this exhibition, but today we return to Vincent van Gogh. We will be talking about the iconic emblems the self-portraits have become and how they inspire artists until today. People throughout the world recognize the man with the red beard and the intense expression. And it's quite remarkable if you realize that we know only one photograph of the artist and it was taken at the age of 19, many years before he actually became an artist at the age of 27. In the first episode, I told you that Vincent painted a total of 35 self-portraits and I explained that he considered them primarily as studies. But essentially, they shape the way we see him and that they would become the icons of his famous artist persona is something he could have never guessed. Van Gogh received little recognition in his lifetime and he hardly made any sales after his death he quickly rose to fame and the self-portraits became the emblem of the myth that was built up around him, that of the suffering artists. The artist that gave his all to his art and ultimately paid for it with his life. This self-portrait is really interesting in relation to the myth of Vincent, a suffering artist. It's from the National Museum in Oslo, Norway, and we are so happy to have it with us for a little while. It was actually only recently re-attributed to Vincent van Gogh because it's a little different from the other self-portraits, the majority of which was painted in Paris. This one, however, was made in Saint-Rémy, in the asylum where van Gogh spent a year. And to be more precise, he painted it when he had only barely started to recover from his fourth and most severe mental crisis. When Vincent painted self-portrait with bandaged ear, he had good faith in his recovery and he believed that his work would help him heal. Eight months later, he had little faith in his recovery. What we see here is a broken man, almost lifeless, a man shrinking away in his collar. But yet again, like he would always do, he confronted his mirror image again, to be brave from inside. Van Gogh genuinely suffered under the weight of his existence, yet he carried on, and this speaks to people and to artists. And in the early 20th century, Vincent became the ultimate example of the suffering artist. Another artist from this time, who very much took this on as a subject in his work, is the Norwegian artist Edvard Munch, who created the famous Scream. In Self-Portrait in Hell, we see the artist in battle with his demons and he's very much confronting us as his viewers with his mental anguish, something he believed actually bolstered his creativity. Van Gogh and his perceived image of the suffering artist continued to inspire artists throughout the 20th century. A very renowned artist that felt a great connection to Van Gogh is Francis Bacon. And he paid tribute to the artist with a series of variations on several self-portraits. Right here, in homage to Van Gogh, he relates to the second version of the self-portrait with bandaged ear. He deconstructed the face in almost abstract forms, giving Van Gogh an even more mutilated appearance. And it was actually the fact that Van Gogh continued to paint, despite himself, despite his troubles, what Bacon admired so much. A beautiful example that Van Gogh's self-portraits inspire artists up to this very day is this series of nine drawings by Guillaume Ruer, created especially on the occasion of the exhibition. The series is inspired by a self-portrait with grey felt hat from the Van Gogh's Museum collection and he drew them right here in our galleries in front of the original. Drawing rapidly in a state of near trance, he felt a very close connection to the artist. If you would like to know more about this, check out the link in the description. Since his death in 1890, 
many artists have paid tribute to Vincent van Gogh with their own variations on his self-portraits. Together with the original self-portraits, as well as a few portraits his artist's friends made of him, Vincent van Gogh is very much in the picture in this exhibition. But as you have seen, he is joined by over 50 other artists that all have made a lasting impression with their portraits. If you would like to know more about them, please check out our In The Picture app. And of course, if you're able to, please come and experience the exhibition for yourself. That will be all for our In The Picture video series. It's been so much fun to give you this grand tour of the exhibition and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.